All right, this is part two. As I was saying, um, this is my yellow. This is my yellow cable, my 12-inch yellow cable that's coming out of the positive end of the uh, the phono jack. Okay, the RCA, and you're gonna run that to this plug right here, and you're gonna solder it. Um, I barely had to use any solder. I just pretty much used the existing solder that was already on the board. Okay, so don't overdo it with the solder because you know that might cause um, you know fuzzy uh, fuzzy video or whatnot, fuzzy sound, whatever. So just try to use minimum amount of solder, but still get your connection strong. Okay. Now next, we're gonna tap into the um, left and right audio. So flip your board back over, and you'll see this plug right here, this yellow plug. Okay, it's gonna be located near the volume slider. Okay, it's gonna be a yellow plug with three wires coming out of it. Now if you look at the board from the top over here, you'll see it's labeled one, two, three. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm missing it here. You're gonna see it's this yellow, yellow uh, connection right here has on the board the number one, two, and three starting from you know where the microphone not the microphone where the volume slider is to the left to your right it's going to be labeled one two three so if you flip the board back over okay and you locate where those three trace where those three leads are okay over here it's going to be basically one two three okay now you can solder directly to these three points okay one two three but these two solder points are very close together, okay? So what I would recommend, what I did was, you follow the trace, okay? Now, a trace is basically, if no one knows, a trace is like a road map, you know, like a road. It, it leads somewhere, okay? So if you look at a solder point, you'll see a green trace, which is its own path, and it leads to another solder point, okay? Which is right here. So in essence, this number one, which is this solder point, okay, if you follow it, it leads to here. So this is number one. This is number two, and if you follow the trace, it goes to here, which is number two. Number two. And if you see this trace right here, which is three, and you follow that trace, okay, it leads to here, which is number three. And the one and two and three represent number one is ground, number two is the right sound, and number three is the left sound. So you're gonna simply take your ground wire, which, like I told you, if you piggyback all the, if you piggyback all three of these uh, these ground pieces, okay, and you, you come out with just one main ground, you're gonna run that all the way to number one, which is right here. So you're gonna solder that up. That's your ground. Simple as that. Then you're gonna take your um, your right audio, okay. So you know your right audio. Pick one. Doesn't really matter. So let's just go with red, okay. So red is my right audio. Red are nice and easy to remember. So you're gonna follow the red one. Okay, you're gonna pull, you're gonna take the positive solder that you did right here. You're gonna take the, where you soldered the positive lead, you're gonna run it to number two. And then you're gonna follow the trace, which is right here. And you're gonna solder that to number two. And then finally, you're gonna take your third one, which is your left, which I used white. Take your positive lead, run it, tape it all up, and you're going to run number three to right here, which is where the trace is located um, for number three. So if you don't understand, let me just remote, let me just break this down to you. Let me just fix the camera here. If you flip this over, you'll see this yellow, this yellow thing, this yellow, um, you'll see this yellow plug right here. Okay, it's labeled one, two, three. So you know one is, is on this side, so if you flip it over and you look where the one would be, that's number one. Run the trace to one, two, and three, so on and so forth. I think you got it. Now, once you do that, I want you to try to run your wires like I ran them, okay? Run them in this, in this region, you know? Try to, keep it, try to keep it in this area, but uh, you know, just tape it down the best you can. It's not hard. Um, once you do that, you're pretty much ready to go. It's time to just reassemble. So let's reassemble. Now this shit's built pretty tough, so you know, you could kind of manhandle it. Don't be scared. 
It's just a Sega Genesis. It's not a freaking Neo Geo or anything. Okay, so reassemble the board. You're going to want to run your cables in this area right here, like this. Try to pop them all out right here. Nice and clean. You know, use tape. Get them where they got to be. Don't forget to reattach, um, you know, the pieces that kind of came off during the assembly, such as the power input and the headphone jack. So put those back where they belong. Now you're going to want to screw back the four and the fifth corner piece. So let me grab my screws. Actually, whatever, we'll just skip the screws. because I want to try to hook this up and show you. So let's just say I screwed them in, okay? One, two, three, four, and five in the corner. You're going to put your, uh, you're going to want to tuck that out so it doesn't get stuck. You're going to put this back in. Now, where these wires come out here, it's going to be a little tight. Okay, so just, you know, make it fit. And then you're going to want to reattach your LED cable, which might be difficult with this tripod in my way here. And again, I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach um, detailed pictures on where those solder points are. For you. Just give me a minute here so I could attach these uh, leads for the LED. It is kind of a pain in the ass to get this LED back on, so just bear with me here. How much time we got? Three minutes? It's going to be tight. Alright, that should be good. We'll see. Kind of half-assed it, but whatever. You're going to want to then just, you know... Alright, so I got it all hooked up. Um, I had to cut the video because we only had like freaking a minute left and I didn't have it hooked up. So I hooked it up. Red, white, yellow. Got the power. Okay, you know, the audio slider works, everything's nice and tight. For this example, I chose Splatterhouse 3 for the Sega Genesis. Mm, we pray. And there it is. Now, there's no sound. Why? Because the volume's all the way down. So let's let's bring it up, see what happens. Hope you enjoyed my video, guys. Um that's it for me. If you got any questions, just leave them. I'll definitely help you out. Um let's just wait and see if I get a video quality here. So as you can see, it looks great, sounds great, much better. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck if you, if you do decide to do this. Thanks for watching. Take care.